everybody, and welcome to Lobster Claws Recovery. I brought my friend. This is the XP Deus 2, and it's a bit squirrely right now. We are in a residential area, uh, and the sensitivity is up high, like 95. Um, how high will I run the sensitivity? As high as I can uh, until it starts to go squirrely, and then I'll back it off a couple of points until it quiets down. That's the answer. Um, if you are in an area with EMI, electromagnetic interference, you can dial it down into the low 90s, into the 80s, or whatever. And if there's no way you can detect, um, figure out what you want to detect and shift to single frequency. Um, that can help you in the worst situations. But this is not what this video is about. So here, we're going to show you what the XY screen looks like when it runs up on fine jewelry targets. So you got silver and you have 18 karat gold. All right, so we're gonna get into it and here we go. Okay. Silver. I got this um, many years ago with a uh, JW Fisher's pulse induction detector in the water off Key Biscayne. I'm very proud of this find. This was very hard to find. Um, look at that VDI number. This is what you really want to see. Anything in the high 90s, I dig anything in the 90s actually, because we have all kinds of screw caps that produce high 90s kind of responses. <laughs> really squirrely, see that's that bent cap. Um, so don't be so sure that, this is the ring, don't be so sure what you're digging, but if you see that thing doing 99 consistently, dig it up, dig it up, dig it up. Okay, this is, this is, uh, I believe this is 14 karat. I never tested it. I believe it is. But let's pretend it is. Could be 10. All right. Reasonably good pattern, top right to bottom left. I don't know. I don't see a lot of junk in the 70s, but I guess it depends on where you live. In the end, you're going to hear my choice, some of my choice words for what you can and can't do with this detector. What you're capable of doing and what you're not capable of doing. My opinion. Strictly opinion. I, I don't represent uh, XP. I don't work for anybody but myself. Okay, so 18 karat. Very clean. That's clean. Far away. No one has a clue what it is. You must dig until you can get a clue. And if you have to get it in your sand scoop, which, by the way, I do sell, as I mentioned before. We sell custom spec. The price reflects it, but it's all custom spec. Metallurgy recommendation is 6106 aluminum alloy, which is a T6 aluminum. It is a um, industrial strength aluminum. Relatively light and relatively inexpensive compared to other aluminum alloys. Um... Let's back up and do that again. So, this is a junk earring. Really hard to know. I would dig it. What happened? I mean, you may find that it has fake stones on it, but it's got um, a sterling silver setting. You know? This I dug the other day with the XP Deus. It's straight up junk.
but I dug it. Um, was I happy I dug it? Uh, yeah, because it was the first piece of jewelry that I got with the detector. Now I'm gonna show you something before we let go of this segment, okay? See our friends here? Tell you what, let's do a nail and a screw. They're, they're really good friends under the sand. They don't talk about it, but they drink a lot of beers together and they're best friends. Now let, let's look at, let's look at, let's put those right there. There's that ring, 18 karat. Pretty clean. It's a men's gold, 18 karat gold ring. Do you understand that if you don't dig these kind of targets, you'll be leaving this, sand, this ring in the sand for me? Okay, keep that in mind. Now, is this realistic? Meh. See? The wedding has, it's a three way wedding. This is Utah. Okay. Look at that crap. The best you could say about that is the high VDI number, mostly. I'm not going to say anything about that yet. You guys are going to hear about that later. Okay, this is that woman's ring with the, with the nails. You got it? Okay. Who the hell knows? I mean, I, I, that's it. Who the hell knows? Here, here's with the, with the silver ring. When you have these type of mixed targets in the sand, and will you? Oh, yeah. You can count on it. Um, all bets are off, and um, you'll hear my final comments. You're gonna hear it, you, and then then you can decide for yourself. Okay. All right. Next phase is next phase. Next chapter is coming up.